Welcome back. In this episode, we present a sailing travelogue of the first four days of our shakedown cruise where we work out the bugs before heading off on our sailing adventure. We dodge storms, we have an overnight stop in Venice, visit Boca Grande, Calla Casa, and Cabbage Key, and stick around till the end if you want to see that unusual place that inspired Jimmy Buffett to write the song, Cheeseburger in Paradise. Well, good morning, and it's about 6 o'clock a.m. on a Saturday. And um, back when I was in college, a swimmer, I had a coach, and any time we'd come back from a long break, he would make us get in the water, and he said, let's, let's blow the cobwebs out. Well, Tracy and I are getting up early today to blow the cobwebs out. So we've been pretty busy the last couple months getting our land life together uh, that we haven't been sailing much. It's actually been a couple months since we've been out. So today we're going to uh, take a sail. So we'll probably be gone for uh, five to seven days. The plan for today is to sail out of St. Petersburg, out of Tampa Bay, and down to Venice. We'll stop over there, anchor out tonight, and then tomorrow we'll head from there down into Boca Grande Pass, uh, into the Calla Costa area. So hopefully we haven't forgotten everything we learned, and we'll have a great sail. Left at 8 this morning. We are motor sailing. Never gets old going under the skyway. Headed to Venice today. And then further south tomorrow, Calla Costa, Boca Grand area. Most people that live in Florida go north for vacation, and most people that live up north come south to Florida for vacation. We still, even though we live in Florida, we still go south for vacation. And we bought this boat with that in mind, with heading south. And we have left Tampa Bay before and gone a little bit north, but this is going to be the first time that we're heading south. We've left the Southwest Passage out of Egmont Key, crossed over the northern end of Anna Maria Island, and now we're going to head south for the first time. So we're going to take it out of autopilot and uh, head towards Venice today. That noise you hear in the background, unfortunately, is our motor. There's only about 10 knots of wind, which is about 11 and a half miles per hour. And that's not enough to keep up any real speed. But maybe uh, as we start going into a little bit more, we'll do better. So here we go. You ready? I'm ready. All right, we're heading south for the first time. Well, it was a pretty uneventful sail for most of the day. We had to motor the majority of the time because we had very little wind and what wind we did have was right on our nose. Yes, sailboats can sail upwind at an angle, but they cannot sail directly into the wind. A lesson we learned, and yes, we should have already known better, but when you're sailing in Florida in August, be sure to be to your destination before the afternoon storms kick in. And unfortunately, those storms formed right when we got to pass at Venice. We were able to film for a little while, but it got kind of hairy, and we had a lot of other things to worry about without filming. So we hung outside in the Gulf of Mexico for a little while so we could move around the storm if we needed to. The last thing I wanted was to be stuck inside a small area with no place to escape the storm if it really picked up. houses and yeah we're here and uh, relaxing so I know a lot of people think we're out here roughing it like uh, Kevin Costner in Waterworld and it couldn't be further from the truth and 
maybe it's not the Four Seasons, but it is pretty nice. We both just had hot showers. We're sitting here in the air conditioning. Uh, we've got a homemade spaghetti dinner with salads. We've got everything that we could possibly need and uh, just loving it out here on the water. So tomorrow we're going to uh, make another run. We're going to head down to Boca Grande Pass and Calle Costa State Park. So hopefully we won't have to deal with another storm tomorrow, but if we do, it's okay. And uh, we're going to get an early start. So we're about to get underway. First thing we have to do is pull up the anchor. Sunshine Daydream approaching from the north and requesting your next opening, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So we're heading south and we have a little bit of, of a breeze from the east off of our beam, which means we should be able to get some air into the sails. So we may be able to sail, we may need the motor. But as usual, look who's doing all the work. Right there. I'm gonna get a bad reputation here. All right, so we're pulling in here to Boca Grand Pass. And um, instead of following the marked channel, we're going to go in through a shortcut that we think is there. So if you hear a big crash, you'll know what happened. We hit the bottom. But I think we're going to be okay. Well, we made it safely through the shortcut. We're now in 62 foot of water in the middle of Boca Grand Pass. And Boca Grand Pass is they like to tell you it is the tarpon fishing capital of the world, but uh, the Skyway Bridge in St. Petersburg is quickly becoming just as good as this area, but this is a beautiful spot down here. We're going to go in and uh, anchor up behind Boca Grande and uh, relax for a little bit. And we pulled into Calle Costa State Park Anchorage just in time. We got the anchor down, got it set. Got a couple drops and we're able to get inside the boat before this came by. So we've got a bad storm, but we're safe and comfortable. Just like you see RVs traveling down the road with a car in tow, uh, we travel down the seas with our car in tow, also known as a dinghy. This is about a uh, 11 and a half, 12 foot, what they would call a uh, rigid inflatable boat with an outboard on the back. And this is what we use to get around and explore when the big boat is anchored. In here in Calle Costa. They offered to give us a ride, but they said it's about three quarters of a mile to the beach. And we need a little exercise, so we're just going to make the walk and uh, maybe we'll get a ride home. We'll see. lunchtime so we took the dinghy over to Cabbage Key. It's a small island in Charlotte Harbor that's only accessible by boat. On the island they have nature trails and even a 100 year old tortoise. Now the restaurant on the island is a unique place covered in dollar bills. 
They tell us that there are over 70,000 bills taped to these walls and that each year about 10,000 of those bills fall to the floor and that money is swept up and given to charity. Now, I was there with Clay when he was around 10 years old and to this day he swears he can tell us where his dollar bill is. This really is a simple place with a very sparse menu. They're best known for their cheeseburgers. In fact, it's rumored that this is the place that inspired Jimmy Buffett to write the song Cheeseburger in Paradise. Now, if you like yours with lettuce and tomato, you're in luck. But if you're like Jimmy and you want French fried potatoes, sorry, you're out of luck. They only serve potato salad here. Well, that was the highlights of the first four days of our shakedown cruise. We had a great time exploring and we learned a few things along the way. Now look, if you made it this far, you must at least be a little bit interested in what we're doing. So please subscribe to our channel and hit that like button too. It's nice to know somebody's watching. And if you really want to get me excited, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Now in our next video, we'll wrap up our shakedown cruise with a visit to Captiva and a long sail back to St. Petersburg. Hey, thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon.